That's quite a handful of maths. Now we're doing the 2024 mock mathematics paper for National 5, paper 1. This comes from fellow teacher Mr. Kushanks. Thanks very much for this. And you can get, as per usual, the paper on my website and the video solution will go up straight away after I film it. So let's go. Question 1, expand and simplify 2x plus 1, 3x squared minus x plus 5. So I always use a box for this. You may use another method, but I've got 2x plus 1. 3x squared minus x plus 5, and I split my box up and times everything together. I'll use a different colour for the answers. So I've got 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 6x cubed. 2x times x is 2x squared, and watch out for the minus. 2 fives is 10, so it's plus 10x. 1 times 3 is 3x squared, I'll write plus 3x squared. 1 times x is x, so minus x, and 1 times 5 is 5. And then you should be able to see that these go together, these go together. So our final answer is 6x cubed, 3 take away 2 is 1, so plus x squared, 10 take away 1 is 9, so plus 9x, and then plus 5 on the end, and we're done there. Question 2 for the National 5 2024 mock exam paper 1. 2 and a fifth plus 3 quarters. Lots of ways to do this, but most people turn it all into fractions, so I'll do that. So you do 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11 fifths, plus the 3 quarters, and now I need a common denominator. So I can just times these together to get 20. So it's 2 fractions with 20 and a plus in between. And basically you can think this has been times by 4, and this has been times by 5. So a little pattern that some people use is cross-cross. So... 11 times 4 is 44, and 3 times 5 is 15. 44 plus 15, just be careful, is 44, 54, 59. So you get 59 out of 20. And you can either, you've got a couple of options, leave it as a simplified fraction, or change it back to a mixed number if you want. Now, if you can't see if it's simplified, the best way is to change it back. So I'm going to change it back, but you've finished here really, that 20, 40 is 2. That leaves 19 left over to make 59, and you can now see that that's easily simplified, so I've done 2 and 19, 20. Question 3. Vectors A and B are given by A is 4 minus 1, B is minus 6 minus 3. Find the resultant vector A plus 2 thirds B. So I want to do A, which is 4 and minus 1, and then 2 thirds of B means I just divide each of these numbers by 3 and times them by 2. So that's plus... 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 twos is 4, and it's a minus, so minus 4. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, but it's a minus, so it's minus 2. 4 plus minus 4, or 4 minus 4 is 0. Minus 1 plus minus 2, minus 1 take away 2, is minus 3. So the result is 0 minus 3. It always says component form at National 5 Maths. That is it. There is another form, but that's for higher. So don't worry about that word component form. It is that. Question 4. Completing the square x squared minus 6x plus 11 in the form x minus a squared plus b. So I do that. There's lots of ways to do these. This is just how I do it. A half the middle term. x minus 3 squared. Immediately take away 3 squared. And we have still got plus 11 on the end. So that gives me x minus 3 squared minus 9 plus 11, x minus 3 squared plus 2. Notice it's take away 3 squared, not minus 3 squared. Why do we do complete the square just for later? If you get asked the turning point now, then it's 3, 2. You change the sign on the first one because it makes 0, and then you keep that one the same. And the axis of symmetry would be x equals 3. It doesn't ask us that in this question. Question 5. The diagram shows a sphere with diameter 6 centimetres. Find the volume of the sphere. And I need to remind myself to watch my units here because this is where I always mess my units up. So volume of a sphere from the start of the exam paper is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Notice it's 4 thirds. Make sure you've got a cubed on the end, not squared. That's for a cone. So now we substitute in. It says give your answer in terms of pi. So often with these questions in non-calculator, you have to give your answer in terms of pi, or more commonly, we ask you to use 3.14, you need to do a big sum. If it says give your answer in terms of pi, you just keep the pi in till the end and just never ever do anything with it. So 4 thirds pi r cubed, so I need to identify my radius, which is 3 centimetres, because half the diameter. So that gives me 4 thirds times pi times 3 cubed. So working out my 3 cubed, 4 thirds times pi times 3, 3 is a 9 times 3 is 27. Keeping the pi to the end, so I'm just going to divide by 3, so that is 
if I write it in the order that you can, so you can see it easier, 4 thirds of 27 times pi. Well, divide by 3, 3 threes and 9 times 3 is 27. So divide by 3, 3 nines is 27, so I get 9 times 4, which is 36 times pi, and then just get rid of the pi, the time sign, 36 pi, and then put my units in, it's centimetres, and it's cubed because it's volume. 36 pi centimetres cubed. Okay, question six. Stephanie buys four Drachenia plants and three small Drachenia plants. Probably never pronounced that right, but the total cost is £52 right down in the equation. So I'll just use L for large and S for small. 3L plus 4S equals 52. That's an equation. Part B. Column buys two large and, three, and five small and the £40. Two large plus five small equals £40. So we're doing simultaneous equations with the calculated cost of one large and one small Drachenia plant. So I'll write my equations again, one above the other, in the standard way. And then we need to eliminate either the L or the S. I always pick the second letter, so I'm just going to stay consistent with what I always do, so I don't need to think too much. So I times the top one by five, and the bottom one by 3 to make 15. So it's that goes up the top and that one goes down the bottom. So what does that give me as new equations, which I'll do in red? I've got 5 4s is 20L, 5 3s is 15S, and 5 times 52, well 5 2s is 10, 5 5s is 25, and the extra one's 26. The bottom one, 3 2s is 6L, 3 5s is 15S, and 340s is 120. So now they are the same, and if it's the same sign you take away, different sign you add. Same sign, take away. 20 minus 6 is 14L. The S's are gone. And then 260 minus 120 is 140. Well, that's handy. 140 divided by 14 is 10. So L equals 10. Now we sub in any equation you want. So I'll just pick this one. Just for the sake of it, you can pick any one you want. That looks like a nice easy one. So, subbing in, we've got 2 times 10 plus 5s equals 40. That's 20 plus 5s equals 40. Taking away the 20 then, 5s must be 20. So, s must be 20 divided by 5, which is 4. Now, if you stop there, you would lose a mark because you need to answer the question. It says, find the cost of a large and a small. So cost of large plant, I'll just call it plant because I can't be bothered trying to spell that, is £10. And the cost of a small plant is £4. £10 and £4 and we're done there. Question 7, WrestleMania is a global wrestling event taking place in early April each year. At first WrestleMania attendance was 90,200. This is 15% of the expected attendance of WrestleMania 40. Calculate the expected attendance. So this is a percentage question, but there's no time, so it's not appreciation. So it's probably a reverse percentage. But let's see. 15% equals 19,200. So, yeah. So now I need to get back up to 100% in some way. So we could probably try and divide by 15. If it was a calculator paper, I'd divide by 0 0.15 and be done. So divide by 15 can be quite difficult. So instead, if you can think of another number that goes into both of them, you can go down. So let's see if we can go down to 5%, because if we go to 5%, we can get up to 100% by times by 20. So 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So 3 goes into that. So yep, I can divide by 3 on both sides, just keeping it balanced. We to get 5% equals 3 fives are 15. Well, let's just do it properly, actually. 3 fives are 15, 3 sixes, three sixes are 18. Carry 1, 3 4s is 12, and 0, 0, 6400. So now I want to get up to 100%, and I can go straight away. I don't need to go down to 1 divided by 5, because 5 goes into 100 20 times. So I'm times it by 20, I'm times it by 20. Times it by 20, or just times by the 0, so I get 0, 0, 0, that's times by 10. 2 4s is 8, 2 6s is 12, 128,000, and we're done there. SQA National Pie Mass 2024 mock paper 1. So We've got question 8 in the triangle XYZ, sine Y is a third, XY is 12, and the XZ is 8 as shown. Find the value of sine Z. So we're looking for this one. Not Z, but sine Z. And why is that? Because it's a non-calculator paper. So this is the sine rule, because I've got opposite, opposite, 
It tells me sine y here, so I've got v's as well. Now, the sine rule it says at the start of the exam paper, a over sine a, b over sine b, c over sine c. So it's really just t reminding you that pairs go together. So let's do our first pair. We've got 8 in sine y, a over sine y, equals 12 over sine z. But we know sine y, so that's a over a third, equals 12 over sine z. Now there's lots of ways to deal with this. You could do 8 divided by a third if you want, or you can just uh, make it the subject sine z, which that'll do, because you just do cross cross. So I've got 8 sine z equals a third of 12. So that means it's sine z is a third of 12 divided by 8. And we can just work that out. A third of 12 is 4. So that's 4 over 8, which equals a half. And now we're done. Sine z is a half. You can't work out z because that would be an exact value. Um, and it doesn't ask you to work it out anyway. Okay, question 9. A function f of x is defined as f of x is free root x, where x is greater than equal to 0. Just telling you that. Find f of 20. So 20 is in the brackets, so your substitution. So f of 20 equals 3 root 20 is your first step. It says find, give your answer as a third in its simplest form. So that's 3 root root. Simplifying a third, two numbers at times to get make 20. The biggest one is a square number. So it's 4 and 5. 4 is the biggest square number. I multiply root 4, so that is 2 times root 5. And I can multiply the 3 and the 2 is 6 root 5. And we're done there. Find the value of a such that f of a equals 20, 15. So it says the function equals. So you make this equal 15. So you would usually write 3 root x equals 15, but we've swapped that for an a. So I just write 3 root a equals 15. So I need to solve that. So make root a the subject. 15 divided by 3 is 5. The opposite of the square root is squaring. So a equals 5 squared, which is 25, because 5 times 5. And we're done there. Question 10. A parabola has equation y equals 3 minus 1. Question 10. A parabola has equation y equals 3 minus x minus 1 squared. State the axis of symmetry of a parabola. I told you the answer to this if you watched it in previous in the video. This is completed square form. It looks a little bit different than normal, and that's only because there's a minus here. But if it's a bracket squared and then a number, it is in completed square form. And the turning point is always the same. So the first number of the turning point, I write this as the turning point, is 1, because x minus 1, the opposite of minus is 1 is 1, and the other number is 3, so it's just 1, 3. So the axis of symmetry is x equals 1, the first number. And we're done there. He sketched the graph of 3 minus x, 1 minus x minus 1 squared on a diagram show clearly the coordinates of a turning point and the point of intersection with the y-axis. So we're not bothered about the x-axis in this case, so I don't need to find the roots, but I need to find the y-axis and turning point. Well, I've already done the turning point. 1, 3. I always do that. So y-axis... It's always just the other letter. It's when x equals 0. So y equals 3 minus 0 minus 1 squared. That's 3 minus minus 1 squared. That's 3 minus 1, which is 2. Let's watch out for that. So we've got 2 somewhere here. And then along 1 up 3. And this is a different one for a change. Since the minus is in front of the bracket, it's not sloping the normal way down, it's actually upside down. So in other words, it goes like this. And we don't need to do the roots, so we're done there. Question 11. Part of the graph of y equals a sine bx plus c is shown, state the values of a, b and c. Okay, so a little bit trickier this one than normal. We've got three things to find instead of two, but that's okay. So the first thing we're going to look at is a. So to get a, so be very careful here, it's not 4, because there's a plus c in the way. So how you do that is you look for the highest point, 4, and then the lowest point is minus 2. The difference between 4 and minus 2 is 6. And then I half that, so I get 3. So 3 is a. Now I can get c straight away, I'll deal with b in a minute, because this plus this 
must equal the highest point 4, so straight away c is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So that means really it is starting at 1. You could have seen that there as well, instead of starting at 0. 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Now to get b, b x is how many of these graphs appear up to 360. So I've got 1, but only up to 180. I mean, I'll have another one, 2. So b equals 2, and we're done there. Well, evaluate 125 to the power of 2 thirds. So this is our indices, but we need to know what a fractional power means. 1 uh, over a 3 means a, a root, and it's a cube root because the 3 is on the denominator of 1, 2, 5, and that's squared. The 2 just goes along for the right. So I can square root, I can cube root first or last, it makes no difference. So I'll cube root 1, 2, 5. Now you might not know the cube root of 1, 2, 5. So you just go 1 times 1 times 1, that's not it. 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. Nope. 3 times 3 times 3, 27. Nope. 4 times 4 times 4, 64. Nope. 5 times 5 times 5 is 25. Now you might have known it was 5 to be honest, because it ends in 5. But there you go. So I've got 5 as a cube root, and I've started to square it. So 5 squared is 25. And we're done there. Question 13, a right angle triangle has dimensions x centimetres, x plus 1 centimetres and x plus 2 centimetres, as shown in the diagram below. Find the value of x, what it tells me it's a right angle triangle. So this is Pythagoras, mixed in with a bit of algebra. So what does Pythagoras say? It says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'll just start with that, I'll call that a, I'll call that b, c is always the longest side. So I've just substitution, x squared plus x plus 1 all squared equals x plus 2 all squared. Now that's quite tricky it looks, but we'll just expand our brackets and hopefully we'll get somewhere. So let's start off with x squared, we've got that, and then you've got double brackets, so you can use a box if you really need to, I'll do it just for the sake of this, or as faster ways, you get x squared, x, x again, and then 1, and that equals x plus 2 times x plus 2, x squared, 2x, 2x, and 4. So taking everything out, we get x squared plus x squared, and there's two x's and there's one on the left, and then there's x squared plus 2x, 2x is 4x, and then a 4. Okay, so collecting like terms, it is a quadratic, so I need to get everything on the left. So I've got x squared plus x squared is 2x squared plus 2x plus 1, then moving the x squared minus x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals 0, so 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. 2x minus 4x is minus 2x. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So I get it down to a quadratic, which I can solve by factorising. So trying to factorise it. It's double brackets because there's no common factor. And for 200 times there, I make 3, but add to make 2. Well, 3 and 1. And I say add, but it can be take away. And then I want minus 3. So one of them is minus, and I want minus two. So it's minus three plus one equals minus two. So now I'm almost done. That means that x plus one equals zero, or x minus three equals zero. So that means that x equals minus one, or x equals three. Now, these were centimeters. So I cannot actually have a negative one. So although we've got two answers, got a quadratic, we can eliminate that one and say the answer is x equals three centimetres, because it is centimetres, and we're done there. So underline that one. This has been quite a maths. Today we've went through the National 5 Maths 2024 mock paper for maths. Hopefully you found that useful, and thanks again to Mr Cushanks for this excellent paper. Go and we'll get paper two done as soon as possible, and then I've got even more stuff for you before the exam. Take care, stay safe. And goodbye.